Hello and welcome to Legoloft, I'm Stax and today we're going to be taking a look at the square foot minifigure. This is our fourth minifigure from the monster series, let's see what we've got now. Open this blind bag right up, hopefully it's not a repeat, I don't think it is, I'm confident, it's square foot. So here it is, the Bigfoot. Or square foot, as it would be in real life. I see what you did there, Lego. We'll just take his camera off here. That's his accessory. And pretty plain, no printing, except for this right here on the feet. And around the back, I'll just show you. No printing anywhere on the torso. Eh, I don't mind that. It's nice to get some plain torsos. It means you can use your imagination to make up your own minifigures, and it could be anything you like, not necessarily whatever's printed on it. But this is supposed to be special. And this headpiece, it's just a recolor of the Yeti from a previous series. So nothing exclusive at all. And they didn't even put a lens on this camera. Come on. Come on, this is pretty poor. It's not a great figure, really. It's okay, but we want better. So here is your field guide for the square foot, if you really want it. It's got this big hairpiece, headpiece. It's the only one quite like it. There's a few headpieces in the series, but you can't really mistake them for this one. I actually found this by the camera. It's a distinctive sh little shape. It's a little bit fiddly and a bit small. I think that he's got the camera because of the famous hoax Bigfoot pictures. There you go. In Legoland, square foot photograph you. We'll see you next time on Legoloft. Thank you very much for watching. And remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to Legoloft, where we make brick films, Lego reviews, puppet shows and more, with regular new releases.